Hey what's up Techbunny here many people are asking me about the display test i mean the display quality separate video for this MSI GL65 Leopard so in this video i am going to talk completely about the display quality of this one and also i will do some little bit compare about the brightness of my GL65 and also the past Dell G3 laptop which is also behind me so without any further delay let's get started and also i like your curiosity and interest towards the gl65 leopard which is a very good gaming machine than i have ever used it till right now and this one is powered by i7 9th gen processor uh, and graphic card is nvidia gts 1650 so we will talk about the display what are the main features of this display before telling what are the features of this display according to my experience i am telling the display is really good guys uh, when compared to my dell g3 laptop quality and the maximum quality everything is fine in this laptop most of the time i use 10 to 15 percent of screen brightness level in my indoor area it's not at all a problem and even i can use it in the outdoor conditions also the a display quality is really great and the maximum display that it can attain is retained it is also very superb by the way if you are not yet subscribed my channel make sure that hit the subscribe button click the bell icon to the side of it to get every video notification like this and also there are many more videos like this are on the way i'll simply tell there is no confusion at all for you and for me also to describe this display so coming to the display size it is a 15.6 inch ips display it's not an amoled or anything display have you have seen in some laptops it is a ips panel guys and also it comes with 144 hertz of screen and coming to the uh, refresh rate it will uh, you can observe the refresh rate while you are gaming uh, instead of a daily to daily task you cannot observe more about the refresh rate and coming to the quality i mean uh, some of the people are asking me about uh, what is the brightness needs maximum it has and what is the uh, srgb what is uh, adobe srgb what is ntsc there are so many things out there in display right so so many people are me asking in the comment section the msi hadn't mentioned anywhere about the display test because the gaming laptops are having some good displays not too worst and uh, not too much high displays even for casual to medium editing and photoshop skills it is a beast I, in my words i will tell and coming to the everything what you needed in this display is uh, coming to the brightness level uh, first of all i will tell where i got the information of this one i installed an app called the uh, display hdr test uh, which uh, usually um, gives uh, close to accurate but not exactly the same result but it is like uh, they clearly mentioned a warning also these are os provided defaults only not the it doesn't make sense about the display for your reference i am telling and if you want accurate results there are some devices available in online marketing and even you can find in offline also so uh, with the devices you will uh, actually get 100 percent accurate results what the actually display you are having but those are all useful only for the display test but we don't use it anywhere right only for display test it is using and also the price is also very high for the devices so coming to the uh, maximum brightness needs uh, this app is showing that it is a maximum uh, peak luminance of 270 nits and according to my opinion i will tell it is 250 nits of brightness it's not 300 also if it has 300 they clearly mention it has 300 nits of brightness so the gaming laptops mostly are powered with 250 nits of brightness so this laptop is also having 250 nits or slightly above the 250 nits in my words i will tell and also uh, my dell g3 laptop is also having the 250 nits of brightness more than uh, that dell g3 this laptop is having some more brightness i will show in this video also uh, by placing comparison like that side by side so that you will get a good idea and coming to the uh, next question it is uh, srgb so this app is showing that it is having the color gamut of srgb percentage of 51.8 percent is around 52 percent so it is not the accurate results i am also again telling so these are all like the os provided ones uh, according to that only i am telling and also guys uh, my personal experience i am telling the colors are very great in this one actually i use this one of uh, turning on the night mode to decrease the strain of my eyes it's very great in my words i will tell and coming to dell g3 it is also great but when it comes to dell g3 this laptop is having very good display and very good punchy colors and coming to next adobe srgb they are telling 44.8 percent so it is close to 45 percent in between 50 to 80 percent so it will uh, okay it's 
fine super fine in my words i will tell and even you can ask to the pro editors as well as pro photo makers they will also tell they won't like the displays of any laptop because none of the laptop or none of the pc is having 100 percent srgb uh, yes they are having but they boost the color through some softwares like that having own softwares so none of the displays are having 100 percent srgb and also coming to the editors as well as photoshop users you don't require 100 percent rgb because we use basically curves for adjustment of the colors if you are a pro user basically you know each and every element of the curve so that is why uh, you don't uh, see the picture you only see the curve so that you can edit again i am telling a uh, honest opinion guys this display is super fine in my quality test and also there are no nothing uh, and also so many are asking about the screen bleeding also yes it has some little bit screen bleeding but of course in lcd panels it is uh, too often so don't panic about the screen bleeding because it is a lcd panel not a amoled panels so lcd panels are having a screen bleeding issue of laptops each and every laptop having screen bleeding issue even you can check if you are having any laptop just go to the dark area and improve the screen brightness from, from 0 to 100 percent max it, it can reach and open any black window or black screen so that you will observe some screen white light bleeding in the screen because it is a lcd panel guys so that is why uh, the screen bleeding is common in all the lcd panels it is also having a little bit on the top right side so don't panic about that uh, in daily to daily you cannot observe this one in pitch dark areas and that too in 100 percent brightness you will observe that one and that too the picture quality is black so now this is my uh, gl65 laptop and wait a sec i will show you the dell g3 laptop also and also coming to the battery i mean not battery coming to the display quality also i will show how much maximum brightness it will attain so as i told you earlier i use by turning on the night light mode it will decrease the strain of my eyes so it is easy to use also so these these are the two displays guys i think you are just a second i think now it is visible okay so these are the two ones it is msi and it is a dell g3 laptop so i will increase the brightness from zero i mean maximum it can reach and also i turn on the night mode in both of these laptops so i am improving the screen brightness so that you will observe how much uh, brightness it will get So this is the maximum brightness this machine is having and coming to this one so this is the maximum brightness and for your reference i play a video so that you will observe which one display is looks better hey guys what's up in this video i'm going to tell why many people in india are not choosing the iphones if you see many of your neighbors and friends many of they are using the Android mobiles rather than iPhones. Why many people are not interested in using the iPhones? So as you can see, the MSI laptop is having some more quality of display than the uh, Dell G3 laptop and it is in the condition of night mode on condition. And I will play same video by turning off the night mode so that you will get a good idea about these two displays. So this is the video quality test of turning off the night mode in both of these two laptops as you can see observe that this one is having some more contrast of brightness needs than the dell g3 laptop so so that you will observe how much uh, contrast and how much the display quality of this msi gl65 leopard is having and coming to the refresh rate refresh rate won't affect while playing this type of normal videos guys only while gaming it will help a lot so this one is having 60 hertz this one having a 144 hertz so don't confuse that this one is having so um, much more refresh rate than this one so the display quality is also great but the refresh rate won't affect of playing any videos so clearly this one is much more better than the dell g3 that's all about the video guys uh, and hope you guys have understood what are the uh, srgb values and rgb values and still if you are having any doubts regarding to this one leave me comment below so that i will make sure to answer as soon as possible and uh, as i told you earlier don't think that 100 percent srgb is possible and don't panic first of all don't uh, think in a negative way that 
uh, if it is having more srgb we will get more picture quality yes it is good but in all cases you cannot observe that one because even when it comes to the example i am telling even in mobiles also you can see uh, mobiles are having lcd amoled panels in lcd also we are having hdr10 support hdr10 plus support when it comes to the amoled we are having different type of technologies in amoled for example in samsung we are having a, a s super amoled panels and coming to one plus it is optic amoled there are different types of uh, displays all there when it comes to the iphone it is differ so but the hdr10 support is the hdr10 plus support is there so even though uh, they are having the same displays i mean the lcd ones we are getting some different type of qualities that is how the display differ from laptop to laptop also and also the color gamut also differ from display to display of course the amoled panels are rich in color when compared to the lcd panels but when it comes to the laptop uh, most of the laptops are comes up with lcd panels only that is why i am telling the lcd so don't think about the uh, srgb adobe srgb the display is very good in my words i am telling i really like the display than the dell g3 there is no words more than this i will share with you guys that's all about in this video if you are having still any doubt still any doubt leave me a comment i will sure to solve your doubts regarding in the comment section itself and by the way if you are not yet subscribed my channel make sure that hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to this side of it to get every video notification and also the tech related videos like this as usual my name is roger watching tech bunny and i will catch you in the next video with a new interesting one take care